down because they played a tough game in Miami last night and the fourth mm -hmm. quarter could probably put on a run. That was our first start from the beginning, but they came out, we can't hit a shot, we weren't playing defense. Um, that's how they got the big lead, but thank God things changed. Derek, you guys were pretty emotional at the end of this one. How big was it for you guys to come back from where you were and win this one tonight? Huge. Tell us something about ourselves. Uh, you know, can't be down on each other when things happen. You just got to stick together, keep fighting, and we follow in back into this game. How, how responsible did you feel to kind of get to really take over in the early in the fourth and you're hitting threes and stuff? Well, we're real responsible. I'm on the leaders on the team. All the other leaders, um, I think Lou was on the court, but situations like that, um, I always talk to people like BJ. He always helped me out, telling me um, things happen. Yeah, I take over sometimes. Thank God my shots was falling tonight. Can you talk about that final play that Tibbs called in, in, the, in the huddle? I and mean, yeah, Caught them off guard, I guess, a little bit. We were running every day after practice, every single day, and it worked. You see it works now. So, um, <laughs> Lou got easy basket. Hits, a, hits the um, guy that was sticking on, turned his back, and Joe King threw a great pass to Lou, and Lou had a layup. You are the first option in that play, right? Yeah, I set the back back pick for Cal, then I go off. Cal go off, and then um, Joe King gets me. I act like I'm going to the hole. Set the back um, pick for Lou. Lou flies off. If the Lou isn't open, the dribble hand off. Derek, what's going on in the first three quarters? Yeah. Wasn't making shots. I think we shot like 26%, 24% or something like that. And it was just one of them nights, but the way that we play on the offense, man, can affect the way that we play defensively. And um, our defense always has to be there. What, Derek, when, you're, when those three pointers started going in, when you made, I think, three in a row, I believe it was, did you just feel it? Did you think it was time, or how did, you know, what happened there? I never want to be in a position like that. Um, it was just falling. I uh, didn't stop taking them. They were leaving me open. That's something I've been working on the whole summer. Did you say anything to the team between the third and fourth quarters? I was saying something the whole game, <laughs> the whole entire game, cursing everything. But we got things together at the right time. You think you tired them out or wore them down because they were playing that second game of back-to-backs? Probably so. Um, we just kept fighting. I know that we didn't give up. We kept playing together, moving the ball, and we made the game easy. Derek, as much as you like winning last year, a win like this, you guys would be happy with it. Right now, you seem a little disappointed. Is that no longer acceptable to be in a win like that? Not at all. Not at all. That's, of course, the win is the win. It's hard to win this league, but you know that we're ten times better than that, what we showed out there. And, um, felt bad for our fans to see us play that bad, but we'll try to prevent that. But what about giving them a thrill? I mean, they really got behind you once you guys really started to get going in that fourth quarter. We got the best fans in the world. They just want to see people playing hard. And that first half and that third quarter, it just wasn't there. It was embarrassing. But um, we picked things up, and we got back on our grind. Derek, you're talking about you know, the maturity of this team from the playoff run last year. Is this a game you think you would have won last year at this time? Uh, I think so. Last year around this time, I think that um, we jailed. I think we was on the West Coast trip or something like that. I think we jailed pretty quick. But uh, like I said, we never want to be in this position where we have to fight back into the game like that. A win is a win, but why is it different this year? We got high expectations for ourselves. We got to hold each other accountable on the court. And um, yeah, we don't want to be in that position again, I'll say that, where we're fighting back like that. Is the feeling relief right now more than happiness? Yeah, knowing that it easily could have went the other way. Yeah, but if anything, um, you know, we're happy with what we got achieved today. Derek, you probably answered already, but, you know, I was watching Blackhawks highlights. Um, but on that last, the last play, it looked like you, you waved the ball off. Was, it, was, that not, was that not supposed to go to you? Um, actually, I did break the play a little bit where I ran to the ball. I had that back pick. And um, Blue didn't throw it to me, so I went down and ran the play, actually. And... Um, I supposed to set the back screen for Lou. Lou came off, then supposed to be a handoff. Joe King threw a great pass to Lou because the person that was sticking him had his back towards the ball. And he 
the other half side of the ball. Was it, I mean, was it designed to lose because they were, you know, so much pressure and you so much? Um, no, it wasn't designed for really anybody. Um, it was whoever was open. We have enough time to get a shot, or if you don't got the shot, get it back out and try to get it going. I couldn't tell for sure if it looked like you waved them not to throw you the ball. Is that I really can't. I don't know what I did. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I, to me, I thought I ran to it. Then I remember going down, trying to set the back pick. I think I didn't even hit anyone. Um, looking at Joe Keem, and Joe Keem playing a great pass. How about the play before where you, you drove, you got seen lined up, and you got past Smith at the basket? You can talk about that play and getting over Smith. He blocked a few shots. Yeah, taking it strong. I'm, I'm still getting back in my rhythm. I'm driving. I'm just trying to get fouled, and it's coming back to me slowly. But the more I play in games like this and the more I play, it's definitely coming back. Derek, do you look at what they accomplished last night and how they kind of ran out of gas tonight? Is that a learning lesson for you guys with all the games you play this year and kind of a shorter win? We know what we have to do. We're not worried about any other team. When we have back-to-backs, we, we tend to play good on the back-to-back. -back. Um, I don't know why. Um, we tend to play pretty good, so we'll have to see what's going to go on tomorrow. Yeah, I don't like being in those deep holes, but do you feel like you've not mastered it, but you know what to do almost in those situations or clutch moments? Do you feel like you're getting an understanding of, you know, this is exactly what I have to do this time, and kind of what's your thought process? Um, I think being down like that, you're, every team try to do the same thing, fight, but you, your defense has to be good. But clutch situations where the last shot, um, I think I'm getting, I'm getting the hang of it, where uh, I know what I have to do. What's your thought process? Go to the hole. So. <laughs> Can you get a sense of the shooting in the first half? Why it was so poor? No. I really don't know. We was up in here talking about it. Nobody knows. It was flat. We had guys that know they knocked down their shot. They were missing shots. So. Really don't know. How about the fourth quarter when you came out and started shooting the three? Okay. What you thinking at that point? I mean, it was because you were so far down. Yeah, that's something I've been working on. They was going under the screen. I don't know why. Give me shots. So I'm just taking it. Hey, Derek, do you think Atlanta in any way, when they're ahead by 19, do you think they're thinking, okay, we're going to lose no matter what? At the end of the day, sense like they're just they're playing the Bulls at home and we're going to lose eventually. Uh, I don't know. They, they had a nice swag to when they played. They were a good team. Saw the way that they were playing. Uh, they've been through a lot together. A lot of the same players on the same team. But uh, Is there an intimidation you think you guys are finally giving not up? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Teams come to play, man. When they play us, and they come to play, come to ball. So, if anything, we just got to play. Now it's